All right, we're talking about the top three, the best three Verizon phones. Uh, Verizon Wireless, let's, let's talk about it. All right, Ray. So this is one of those questions I'm sure you're asked every time you mention you're into technology and you do a show on technology and you review items. What, what, what phone do I buy? Exactly. What phone do I, what's the best Verizon phone? What's the best this phone? Uh, so uh, I decided, you know what, let's do a show. Just get those three best phones today on Verizon sure. Wireless's network and uh, let's talk about it. So uh, let's 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 look at what we have here. So of course Verizon Wireless has uh, one of the nation's largest 4G network, but the first on the list is of course the uh, the Motorola Droid Razor Max. Mm -hmm. um, run down some some uh, some some pros. Got uh, good battery life. Good battery life. Good battery. I mean, it's phenomenal battery life. That's the big deal with it, right? <laughs> right. Um, it has a Kevlar body, a 4.3 Super AMOLED screen dual core 1.2 gigahertz processors 16 gig internal ram and 16 gig micro sd and of course it's on the fantastic uh, verizon lte 4g network um comes with so the that's the pros the cons it comes with android 2.3 gingerbread os uh it has mm. motor blur on there which we don't like so much and no, uh an 8 megapixel 1080p camera is okay and with a price point of about 300 dollars um that's uh, that's pretty steep it's a little steep Little steep. I mean, I mean the 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 eight megapixel camera 1080p. I think is okay. It's fine. But man, three hundred dollars. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot of money, of man. That's a lot of money. I mean, I, I have the the uh, the Note, and that only runs uh, like two hundred bucks. Right. That's a lot that's of money. A lot of money. Yeah. I don't know. And a four three. I don't know. Listen, the great thing about Motorola. I mean, sorry. The great thing about about uh, Verizon is that Verizon's LTE network is phenomenal. At least in New York City, it is. Phenomenal, fantastic, freaking awesome. So I think that right there would just sell me on just going to Verizon. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. that leads us to uh, to our second, which is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, our friends yes. at Samsung. Uh, Samsung has a very, very reliable OS. Um, uh, it runs ICS, where Ice Cream Sandwich, is, which was, is uh, Android's latest, the latest operating system. Yeah. It has a 4.65-inch HD Super AMOLED screen, a dual-core 1.2 gigahertz Cortex-A9, which is not bad. Uh, on the con side, it's uh, all internal storage. So it's 16 gigs of internal storage and 1 gig mm. of RAM, no SD. Um, cool. Google Wallet can't use the NFC on this device, the near field communication. And uh, the five megapixel 1080p camera is okay. It's not it's terrible. Okay. Um, and that has a price point of 199 See, that's better, right? A yeah. $200 price point is much, much better. I mean, th and this seems to be a, a, a little beefier box, minus the fact that there are no SD slots. I, I don't understand that, man. Yeah. I don't understand why a company, especially like Samsung, will come out with a brand new phone and say, yeah, you know what, we're not giving an SD slot. I don't get that. I mean, I, I know that Apple does that too, but we're not talking about Apple today, we're talking about uh, um, the Samsung phone. I just don't get it, man. Yeah, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, and and okay. on that note, uh, our third, third of the top uh, Verizon wireless phones is the Motorola Droid 4. Droid. Droid 4. I keep on. I forgot my screens here. Um, my Droid 4 <laughs> by Motorola. Everybody's looking at the uh, at the other one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but Motorola Droid 4. So uh, this is the deal. Um, is it the best phone? No. However, many many people are tied to their keyboards. They love love the keyboard, yeah. and uh, you can't fault them for that. A lot. So you got to give them an option. So uh, the Droid Four is is uh, the fourth generation of their 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 famous Droid line. Uh, it has uh, edge lit LED keys, which are actually very very nice. Uh, Gorilla Glass, of course. Uh, it's a 4G LTE phone. Uh, it it has a 4.65 HD Super AMOLED screen. Now I don't remember if they have a um, Nano water resistant coating as well. I've got to check on this model. Uh, okay. A dual core. I thought they, I thought it did. Yeah, I thought so also. I thought it did, which is kind of cool. Because um, like, dropping on water. Yeah. Uh, dual core one dual two core. Uh, uh, Texas Instrument um, OMAP processor, uh, eight megapixel rear camera and HDMI port. 
And on the cons, of course, again, motor blur technology. Uh, it's not running ice cream sandwich. Boo, boo, boo. And uh, 1.2 megapixel front camera. Uh, and it's only a QHD display, which is a little, uh, little you know, for a price point of $199. Um, yeah, what do you think, right? Yeah, again, it's not, it's not too bad. But see, here's here's my thing, right? And I and I've never been, I've never understood this. Why do I need an HDMI port on my phone? I I don't quite understand. Tablet, I understand. Phone, I don't get. Yeah, I don't but really see myself using that as often. I mean, the only the only reason no. I would use it would be to have something like uh, like the Atrix, where you have that that external yes. computer display. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I completely agree. But something like this, I don't know why I would actually have an HDMI port unless, unless it comes or it, it is coming uh, with some additional hardware that would utilize the HDMI port. Uh, but, you know, okay. Right. Turn so box. those are the top okay. three that we see. Uh, let us know what you think. Rate, subscribe, comment below in the crotch bar. Tell us what your top three is and uh, what they are. And uh, let us know what you think. I'll see you later. As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That thing right there.